bought three more of these 88 cent one step tests. This is the one that gave me a super faint line yesterday. So it's like six o'clock PM and I've been drinking a lot of water all day. So I don't know how accurate of a result this is going to give me, but I'm still gonna take it. And I think I'm gonna take one in the morning too. First morning urine and um, film that as well. But I bought these and you can't beat it. They're only 88 cents. These have always worked great for me for all of my pregnancies, all five. Well, for the first one, I was super young and I just went and bought a first response. So yeah, my last four pregnancies, I did use these and they gave me super accurate results. So I'm gonna use this one and see what it says. Like I said, the last one, you guys said that you saw a line and it could have easily been an evap because a lot of you have also said that these give evaps, but I've never had evaps on the one step equate test. So whether it was an evap or not, I don't know. But since I've been out all day and drinking a bunch of water, I don't know how accurate this result will be, but I'm still gonna take it, see what it says, and then I will repeat with another one of these in the morning. So let's take this test first and see what it says. So I'm just gonna let the test run. On the back it says, test results will appear within three minutes. Positive results may appear as early as 60 seconds. Do not read the result after 10 minutes as this result may be invalid. And then it shows you here the top ones are positive. One line can be lighter than the other. The middle one is not pregnant. And the last one is an invalid result where there is no control line and just a test line or no lines at all. So I'm going to cover this and let it sit for a few minutes. I am three months postpartum with baby number five in case you have not stopped by my channel before and I've been having pregnancy symptoms which could also be postpartum symptoms as well. Just very weird symptoms. I've been super thirsty, super hungry, waking up at night, eating, pimples, migraines. I don't see anything yet. I've been nauseous for the last two days, but that could be a shift in hormones as well. My vision has been very blurry and it's usually blurry during pregnancy. I know there's other things that I could think of too. I've been having very vivid dreams, which was a huge telltale of my last pregnancy. That's how I knew but right now I do not see a line, so we're gonna let it sit. I'm gonna cover it like that, and we will be back in like three-ish, four-ish, like three minutes. All right guys, so it's been a few minutes. We're gonna check the test. I don't know if I'm ready for this or not, but it's inevitable, so we're gonna check it. Test is under here. I have the flash on just in case the lighting is hard to see. So here's the test. I think I see a line on this one. Let me get the one from yesterday. So this is the one from yesterday that you guys said that you saw a line on. And here's this one. So this one right here was first morning urine yesterday. This one is not first morning urine. And I've been drinking so much water. I don't know guys, what do you think? I think that 
the TV and kids are super loud. <laughs> I don't think it's been 24 hours. Well, yeah, what am I thinking? It's been 24 hours since I've taken the test, like 24 hours apart. So this is the one from yesterday. Looks like the line kind of faded. And then here is the one from today. Let me take the flash off and see if it makes a difference. You can actually kind of see better with the flash off. So here's yesterday's test on the bottom, today's test on the top. So this one is first morning urine yesterday. This one is evening urine today with a ton of water. So that's yesterday, that's today. I don't know guys, stay tuned and I will do another one in the morning and I guess only time will tell. Yesterday, today. Leave your comments below on what you think and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.